everyone. My name is Samantha. I am with On The Clock and today I am going to be walking you through how to set up an employee group. So an employee group is a good thing to set up if you are going to have settings that need to occur on all of your employees. And we can actually set that up with an employee group and then apply our employees to the group. And then all those same settings will apply. So to get started, we're going to go to the settings icon. And in the drop down list, we're going to go ahead and click employee groups, new employee group. And we'll notice that these tabs up at the top look similar to the individual employee profile, but we're filling this out for everyone whose settings apply to this group. I'm gonna name my group hourly. So I'm gonna have different options in here that may or may not apply to this specific group. So this group is hourly, so I'm not gonna do anything with salaried. Maybe I have job and project costing setups that I would like to put on. I would just turn these on. I'm gonna set my overtime rule for 40 hours per week. I'm gonna to come to additional features and just turn off punch confirm and any of these fields that don't apply. You can set up PTO settings. Now this is a blanket setup. So if your group of employees all receive the same sick time, maybe they accrue one hour of sick time for every 30 hours worked and that's for everyone, we can enter in our PTO time here and we could save settings and apply that for everybody. If everyone's PTO is individualized, you can leave this off and then go in and customize after the fact. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this off. Location and security. Inside here, we can blanket a few security rules so we can turn off mobile punching for everybody, apply an IP restriction for everybody. Fingerprint sign and desktop GPS rules. You will notice that there's no device and browser authorization in here. That would be an individual employee setting that we could apply later. Alerts and messaging. Under here we have SMS text message alerts. You could apply a number that you would like to receive these to. This is an additional charge, it's a premium feature, so it is an additional $2 a month and a penny per text. We can turn on punch messages if we would like to get that for everybody. Message to employee, if you did enter something here, everybody in the group is going to receive this message if they're on the desktop. So once we feel satisfied with all of our settings within the group, we can go ahead and hit save settings. And you'll notice that now my group's created and right now it's going to say under employees assigned zero to assign an employee to a group we're going to go to our employee icon view full employee list i'm going to go ahead and click my test employee and now underneath general settings employee group currently says not set i'm going to apply this employee to hourly confirm and then notice that everything becomes grayed out so every setting that i entered in the group is now part of this employee's profile and if i needed to update something i can actually go through the group settings and make a change and it'll automatically apply so if i had my overtime rule wrong and i needed to update it for my entire hourly group i could come in save the setting and now when i look at my test employee my rule automatically updated now you can customize settings within an employee's profile a spot that you may need to do something like this would be pto so if I have an employee who has differing PTO rules, I can actually customize that by turning the slider green and then adding my information in and saving. Location and security. Notice that under location and security, device and browser authorization doesn't have the option for customizability, but in here you could actually click this for any employee and then lock them down to a specific device. So this is individualized. A few things to note about an employee group. With employee group settings, this is something you may want to set up in the very beginning of your setup of the account. It may be something that you put for all new employees who come on board, maybe have a new employee group. If you add a group later on and you want to apply that to an employee, those group settings will wipe out any past settings. So if you have PTO already listed for somebody and they've been with you for years and then you go add them to a group, it's going to knock out all of your previous PTO. So keep that in mind. This is something that you'd want to start at the very beginning of account setup. And you can add as many employee groups as you need. And when you view your full employee list, you'll notice which group your employees are in. And that is all there is to know about adding an employee group. I hope you have a wonderful day.